Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in the last episode we just beat the shit out of Nathan and took some of his stuff. Now we're here to confront Frank, pay him and probably get our information or whatever it is that we are coming here for. Let's go for it. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Let's give the money. That's what we're here for. No dicking around. Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, That's not what we want. not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Oh... <laughs> uh. I want to be cocky, but like you already did. Uh, but come on, no dicking around. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it, especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me, like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I. Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. You scared me. You scared me. You scared me. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera, I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Hmm... Let's get personal. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Damn. Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here. And I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! Oh, Pompadour! shit. You fucking killed my dog! Oh, my God! What the fuck, Chloe? Oh 
Oh, no. Chloe. I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense no, for on. both of us. No, come on. No, no, no. Max? Frank is really dead. I know. But we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Why? Before the co cops come. Why can't I rewind? Are you serious? Oh. Uh, That's it. Why is the dog dead? Come Let's on. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe oh, actually killed Frank. Wait. She'll go never back. forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Yeah, fuck yes I'm changing it. Man, a dog died. What the fuck? The guy fine, but I'm not letting a dog die. Heck no. I guess getting personal was wrong, huh? I can't be in two places at once. Wait, what? Have to go back all the way? Why can't he just rewind me to the last decision point? Why does it have to go back all the way? Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Oh, fuck. Okay. I can't get rid of the gun, let's just keep it, but... Please just... watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Give the money. Wait, what happened? No fight? Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh. Okay. Uh, you don't get it? You don't... No, man! No, no... Oh, Christ, I... Yes, Frank, without those Blackwell shits as... Oh, come on. Okay. Go down, Frank. Let's just... What? I, I didn't get to choose. What the hell? I didn't get to choose. Listen, Chloe. Max, I should have known you would be. I just get rid of the you gun. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Oh, 
give them money okay let's see from here what i got a question there like no weapons something close the door oh i thank you that wasn't so hard now was it and let's not do any more business again now if you excuse me frank could we ask you a couple quick questions you have some serious lady balls no Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Ah, okay. Uh, close the door for the dog. The dog is the one that, um, let's go with, close the door. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. Uh, figures. He actually listens. Well, he's a nice guy. He's not. He's not all evil. Okay, there. You're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of. Okay, oh, that's... is that all? Hmm. Let's go with I'm Listen, sorry. Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you... Mm. He was fine to with this honest, one. I could tell by the way you held that... I, I only... Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun any... Okay, we're cool for now. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. Ah, uh, there it is. You the like question. dogs? Mm. What is the response? It's just like a summarize. What does dog rescue mean? Is it, Am I going to talk about rescuing dogs or I'm going to talk about a rescue center I just go with it anyway of course I do I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs that's amazing no all right it was just the right thing to do I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like like slaves that's how I came to own Pompadou that's very cool Frank your dog is lucky you came along maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now Rachel is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Oh, fuck, okay. Mm, questioning is not going to get you anywhere. People don't want, people don't really like answering questions when they're confronted. The photo and the letter will trigger him. Probably causing the same reaction again. So let's go for bracelet. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late! She's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit! 
You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? Whoa! Is Chloe gonna die? Chloe! Oh no. Get off of me! Motherfucker! Oh god, okay. He got stabbed in the leg. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... We just want the code for your account book. There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just... Just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Well, that went better than I thought. Okay. Shit. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. Yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Uh... What is he saying? I need my pompadour. I think we'll keep this version for now. I think that was like the best possible outcome. He just got stabbed in the leg, nobody died, the dog is alive. I'm happy with it. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about Frank. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Frank's class. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues for each section. Oh, uh, correct clues for each section. Let's well, look I'll... at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. I didn't even get to read what. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Okay. Did our plan have to include shooting Frank in the leg? We didn't shoot him We've in the leg, though. everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. These pieces together. Roger that. I'm going to study the board and try to connect all these dots. I guess I just wait. What is this? Nathan's clues, David's Frank's. Okay. Let's start with Frank, I guess. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Hmm, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Da David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Ma Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David I would need more concrete proof and he promised he, has, he had more to show. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. 
Is the last Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Uh, oh, these are all dog names for people's names. So, okay. So I guess we match this with this. Yes, the game is on. Now. Talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Hmm. Wait, what did you say? Oh, uh, Nathan's right. Nathan is rot. Okay, Max. Remember right. these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Uh, one rot here. 30th September. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. No rot here. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? No rot there. Two rots here. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. No rots here. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. I guess we select this one, this one, and this one. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Okay. Kate. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Manson was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Um, I'm supposed to select three things. Uh... Those are coordinates. That's me. Let's try this. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Okay. License plate pictures, uh, coordinates, and. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. 
Okay. Uh, what about pictures? Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Hmm. Maybe the map? Looks like this is not relevant at all. So you got Kate. He was trying to help Kate, but he took pictures of Kate. I'm a suspect for some reason. That was Rachel visiting. Rachel, wait. Rachel, let's... I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Spider up. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Okay. Hmm. Trying to think here. Those clues are not related. Oh, uh, okay. How many combinations are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have nine times eight times seven. Nine, eight, seventy-two. Seven, two is a fourteen. Seven, seven is a forty-nine. Five hundred and one. Seven, seven, seven is a fourteen. Five hundred and four combinations. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I can't brute force this. Uh. Has to, wait, is this Nathan's car? And that's all go. she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Bruh. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Yay. Hmm. Huh. Who does this car belong to? SX. Just gonna... Uh... Six feet under? Is that what it says? Okay. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Uh... Top feet hulk. Interesting. Twilight zone? Is this Nathan's car? That's definitely Chloe's car. Twin... Twin Peaks. So you got Twin Peaks, Twilight Zone, uh, Top Feet Hulk, and Six Feet Under. Okay, let's find out whose car this is. So this is Six Feet Under. This is like goddamn math. Wait, I suck. Uh, which one is this? This is Nathan. Toilet zone. Oh. Yep, another car David was tracking. Twin Peaks. Top feet Hulk. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? This Twilight Zone. So let's go with these three. Come on. 
deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. Oh, okay. It's got the it's got the tape. This one's got the tape. Six feet under. Six feet under. There it is. Oh yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. No, what? Am I done? Oh, okay. One last set of clues. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? There's a lot of numbers in here. I've read this before. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Couldn't hurt That's to give this pin code a whack. Sim pin. Make sure to change it. So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Disciplinary warning report. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mr. Hoyder's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss the matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of this situation. Please see the attached file for the full reports. Um, let's select... wait. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay, so we gotta select that, we can select that, we can select that, and we can select that. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. Oh, okay. Uh, we got the one, 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 one. That's definitely changed. There's no way that's still there. Nine, five, three, five. Let's go with that. Up. Oh. No. Nine, five, three, five. Oops. Bad code. Okay. There's no way it's one, 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 one. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay. 542? Why is it in red? Zero, zero, five, eight. Zero, zero, five, eight. You locked it, dumbass. Oh, that, that just... Nathan? Get ready to fucking die, bitches. You fuck up my dorm, I kill your scholarship. Okay, Nathan, chill. Jesus. Uh, let's go 3988. 
Three, nine, eight, eight. Oops, bad code. Okay. Zero, five, four, two. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay. I just rewind. Let's start hacking. Uh, zero five four two is done. Three nine eight four four three six five four three one. Four four three six five four three one. Four four three six. Oops, bad code. Five four three. One. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Am I done with all the numbers here? I am. Eight seven eight nine seven eight zero eight. Eight seven eight nine. Oops. Bad code. Seven eight zero eight. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay, we got Oops, bad code. Eight six zero three. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Mm. Let's start hacking. One zero one zero seven zero. Well, I already did seven zero six three. One zero one zero, nineteen ninety three. Is that three or five? I think that's three. No, that's five. Nineteen ninety five zero one nine eight, one zero one zero. Nineteen ninety five. Oops, bad code. One zero. One zero. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. And then last one was zero one nine eight. You locked it, dumbass. Okay. I know those are working. Numbers. Usually people put. Usually people put date of birth. Twenty ninth August. Uh. Oops, bad code. Hmm. Maybe 95, is there somewhere? 95? Uh, 29, 95? Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Okay. Oh wait. Uh, uh, what am I doing? Oops. Oh. Bad code. Yes. 
Oh. Oh my god, that took me so long. You have no idea. I'm dumb. I'm an idiot. What up? Need the G. Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Yes. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home? Got to party tonight, home. On the way, load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Yeah, I need to score ASAP. I don't make house calls, you have a car. No time, charge me double. Damn right, have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit, get that money Drug out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? No shit, what you need? Peruvian flakes, he do acid. You're paying night prices, don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick, need more stuff. You home? Yes, don't come, fuck off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, need weed, etc. Now. Calm yourself, you tweaking? Soon. Hope a, hook a brother up. Meet beach, be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Hey, whore. Feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I've told you this before and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Take a breath, Max. Okay. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Uh, oh, okay, these are, I need, to, I need to remember the time now. This is 326. 10.15. Wait, 326 on what? Okay. 7th October. Same day, late at night. This is fourth at night, fourth night, fourth evening, first, first at mm, first morning. So we have first morning, fourth night, and seventh morning and night. Okay. So, this infamous party was the 4th. Yeah, party was at 4th at 8 p.m. This is the one Kate attended. 4-8. So, it's 4-8. This one's 4-8. So, it has to be this one. Four eight. This is thirty. Four. Four right. This one. Uh, fourth. Is there any other fourths? The seventh. 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 Fourth. Five forty. This is the latest one. Eleven p.m. And. Yeah, he's reaching. He makes a transfer at 11. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? Okay, that's third. That beach is like Frank's main office. That's seventh. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? 
That has fort in it. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. That's also got fort, two forts. One's close, but not quite. Not much out there. <clears throat> ah, this is close to the time. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <sighs> Poor rich Nathan. One fort, same time. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. So it's not this. Fort. Nine fifty four. This one doesn't have a fort. This one does have a fort, and it's past. I think it's this one. I'm going for this one. Um. Yep. This one. And this one. Yes. Chloe, this is. Definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. <clears throat> nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Uh -oh. Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. Yes, it's just let's the call two Warren. Of us, nobody else. Come on. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm an idiot. It took me that long. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. All right, I think this is a good stopping point. My brain's fried. So I'm gonna take a quick little break. I'm gonna continue, but the episode's gonna end here. Text from Warren, let's read that. I didn't realize that beating the shit out of somebody would bruise my fists. Of course I bruised his face worse. He had that coming. That whole fight was so insane. Yes, it so was. How are you doing? Amped up. I wouldn't want to do it again. Unless I had to. You paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know. Promise. Cool. Now I have to get back to striking super poses. Speaking of, I didn't read any of this. How many pages? Three, four, five pages? Okay. So after getting in the inside info and assist from the other members of our team, Chloe and I made our way to boys' room dorm, aka Nathan's lair. Chloe stood guard out in the hall and I stealthed my way into Nathan's room. And even though I've become a master spy and detective, I still get surprised by things I see or find, like Nathan's sleek, expressionist bro cave. It was like walking from light to shadow in a single step. I swear I could feel the temperature drop the second I walked in. 
But then Nathan knows photography and he knows you have to keep the film and equipment chilled. I store my instant film hoard in Mr. Jefferson's classroom. Speaking of cold stuff, Nathan's room was layered in creepy shit. The disturbing but impressive photos, all the evidence from his father's bullying and probably the most important clue we could never find. Nathan's phone, likely loaded with messages and mysteries. It's not a good thing that I've internalized spying and stealing so casually over the past week. Everyday hero, am I right? And that's when Nathan Prescott showed up. He looked so wild-eyed and out of control that I felt a twinge of sympathy that he clearly needed help. But then I remembered he was also an asshole and had been extremely dangerous to me, Chloe and Kate. So before I had to rewind, Warren entered the scene and my white knight headbutted Nathan in perfect payback. I couldn't believe it. Neither could Nathan. In fact, Warren literally did go ape all over Nathan's face. It wasn't cool, but my nerves were so frayed from the week and I was so over all the Blackwell bullies that I didn't try to stop Warren from beating Nathan into submission. Warren had his own issues to work out on Nathan. After that dorm brawl, brawl, Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. Unfortunately, Frank was not in a helping mood. He went ballistic and attacked Chloe. She injured him in the leg, which totally freaked me out. Even though I feel like I could have been seeing, I, I've been seeing Chloe get shot all week. All I could think was, this is really happening. I am outside an RV in a fight with a drug dealer. So our mission to bring Frank on board was impossible. Now he is even more pissed off at Chloe and me. Part of me thinks he has a right since we wounded him in the leg. But the other part thinks that Frank would be hurt at some point by somebody else. He should be lucky it was by us dorks. I hope his leg is okay and we don't end up with worse karma. This is not how I wanted our visit to go. And I don't want Chloe to beat herself up even more over what happened. She did defend me. But we do have bigger Franks to fry, or fuck up. Onward. My life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react anymore. I can rewind time and space, but it is, is it aging me before my own time and space? Am I learning things I shouldn't mess up? I shouldn't messing up too much shit, including my own history? Obviously, my nosebleeds and dizzy spells are a bad sign that I'm overusing my powers. But it's become almost part of my nature, or maybe a habit. Power corrupts? Not yet, I hope. I remember this famous episode of the original Star Trek, where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loves die so the Nazis won't win the war. What kind of fucked up choice is that? What would have happened if I had not been in the school bathroom to save Chloe that day? But damn it, I was there, and thus, I was supposed to be there. Destiny. So things got a bit out of hand with Frank, but honestly, what else could we expect? He's not really your everyday hero type, and it was probably stupid of us to hope for a change, but hey, we had to confront him. We tried to persuade him, we are on the same side, but it was a waste of time. We eventually had to defend ourselves and hurt him in the leg, but despite the rage in his eyes, he somehow gave us what we were looking for. He was on the verge of unleashing hell on us, but I think we've avoided the worst. I just hope our paths won't cross again anytime soon. I still don't know why Chloe or even Rachel would want to hang out with Frank, but I can't suss that out anymore. Maybe if I hadn't left town, I'd be less judgmental, but I definitely don't see the good in him. Anyhow, we tried, right? And now we have Nathan's phone, David's coordinates, Frank's account book, and a big board of clues, which brings us closer to finding Rachel Amber. Finally. This is the moment where all the clues come together and we finally have a location outside of town that may lead us straight to Rachel Amber and beyond. After everything that happened with Frank, I had to convince Chloe to keep going forward with me, since I do, not, I do feel we're at the end of the road, hopefully not the end of the world. But whatever anger Chloe has inside her that makes her so self-destructive is matched by her balls and bravery. Yes, Chloe has gotten me nearly killed, but I know she would die for me, and I can't forget I put her in her wheelchair to slowly die in another reality. And Chloe is more focused now than, b than before. I told her we have to keep moving forward no matter what and I couldn't find Rachel on my own. That was enough. Now it's time to shine a light into the dark room. Alright. I'm gonna be ending it here. I will see you in the next one.
Take care. Bye-bye.